Hey, it's Joe Glines from The Automator, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a little update to Studio to help exclude your library if you don't want it to be constantly checked. Uh, they might have files in there that have issues with them, and this will allow you to not have to go fix them every time Studio reloads. Before we do that, this URL up above me here, if you go to it browser, this is my AutoHockey Studio page where I have, let's see, uh, 43 tutorials on using Studio. So just real quickly, if you're new to AutoHotKey, Site for AutoHotKey is a great starting editor. After you've used that for a while, I'd say like maybe a year, six months to a year, depending on your programming level. So if you're a little bit more advanced of a programmer, switch over earlier. But AutoHotKey Studio is a great editor for those that aren't noobs that, that you know have a little more advanced programming needs. It's really functional. It does have a learning curve. It's a great, great tool. And then if you're programming with other people, VS Studio is a great one as well because leveraging GitHub integration is amazing. But let's get into Studio. And what you do is hit Alt-M and that's going to bring up the Omni search. And I would just search for library and see this hide library files in Code Explorer. And this is your Project Explorer, but I don't know, but I have it enabled. If you disable it, just hit enter. Now, if I was to refresh Studio, it would find a few of my libraries, files in my library folder are broken. So again, Alt M, I'm going to turn the, I'm going to search for library, hide library files. Oh, I'm going to re-enable that. And that's how it takes care of it for you, right? So very handy. I think actually down here, this automatically doesn't get expanded. Uh, maybe that's what it's doing, but it also stops it from checking it every time when you when you do a refresh. It's very painful if you have some files in that folder, and every time you try to reload a studio, it, it wants to go check every file, because studio, when you open a file, if there's any sort of an error, it reports it right away. And so if you had, like I had, like 10 files in my library that had issues, every time I'd have to go through and say, no, I don't care about that, I don't care about that, and it was really annoying. So this is just how to disable it. Now, if, if that option isn't in your menu, just update Studio, because ironically, I've tried all this stuff and I couldn't find it, so I pinged Maestrith and I said, hey, you know, I'm trying to, to do this thing. And he says, yeah, we'll just, you know, use the Omni Search and look for a library and this blah. And I'm like, I, and he sent me a screenshot. He had it in his. And I'm like, I, I don't I don't have that. And so we started looking around and sure enough, somehow it got removed from Studio. So he added it back. So make sure you're on the current working version of Studio and then you'll have that option. Cheers. I hope that helps. Bye.